Hi, this is Simon Obstall and welcome to another tutorial for Apple Motion. And today we're going to be taking a look at this glitching pixel sorting effect. Now, Pixel Sorter is an excellent plugin for After Effects that is extremely popular. And this is a tutorial that shows you how to do that sort of effect in motion with the basic tools. Now, in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you a very basic example that uses text. But in a subsequent tutorial, I'll show you how much more interesting this effect can be. So anyway, let's get started. So for this project, I'm going with 3840 by 2160, frame rate of 25 frames a second, duration of five seconds. And the first thing I'm going to do is just drop in some text. Just want to make sure it's sort of centered up pretty much like that. I'm going to call this group text. I'm also going to come over to the library generators and drop in a color solid into a new group behind everything else. And let's make it dark gray. And I want to add over the top of that a generator's noise. I'm going to set the scale of this to 350, just so we've got some nice big noise there. I'm going to add a hue saturation and take out the saturation. Then I'm going to set this blend mode, I think, to multiply. So we've now got a nice textured background. I'm going to also just add to this group a stylize and vignette. We just need to make sure we set the group to fixed resolution. Otherwise, the vignette is not going to work because we've scaled up that noise. So to create our effect, I'm going to make a new group, object new group. Into this group, I'm going to add generators and cellular. So I'm going to call this group A, and I'm going to take my cellular. I'm going to right click, add image mask. I'm going to use the text group as the source, and I'll turn the text group back on again. I'm just going to put that text group above the A group, but let's just turn it off so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just going to increase the speed of the cellular, I think, to 0.75. And I also want to add to the cellular stylize and pixelate, and I'm going to go with a scale of 50. So then to create the effect, I'm going to select the group. I'm going to come to filters and stylize and relief. I'm going to zero out the back. And then for the Y front, I'm going to enter negative 540, which will take it as far as it will actually go. So then I'm going to come back into my cellular. Actually, let's turn the text back on again so you can see we're starting to get these sort of glitchy artifacts down here. So let's come into our gradient. What we actually want to do is switch this to grayscale. And you can see that in doing so, we greatly increase the depth of that because the relief filter work basically works on the basis of luminance. And that's why it's actually going to work for this pixel sorted effect pretty nicely. So to increase the length of this, I'm going to select the group, come to the scale, open it up and set the Y value to something like 250. And now we've got a, a much more pronounced effect. So what we're also going to do is come to this group, drop shadow, turn it on, and we're going to set the angle to 270. And the distance, let's just increase that till we start to see a drop shadow like that. And that really helps with the depth of the effect, as you can see. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take this group and duplicate it. So right click duplicate, let's call it B. Let's just maybe just here, just reduce the scale down to say, 150. And here I just want to increase the opacity of the drop shadow so it's more obvious what's happening there. And that's pretty nice, but obviously we need a little bit of variation in there because they're moving exactly the same way. So what we're going to do is come into the cellular and we're going to increase the speed of that, say, to one. And now they're a lot more random in relation to each other. Actually, might even increase the scale of that A group. Let's go for 300 there. So then I'm going to take my B group and right click duplicate. And in this case, we're going to dive in to the relief and set the Y to its maximum. So I'm going to go with 540 for that. And with this one, you can see we're now getting a drop shadow on the text and we're getting this sort of vertical movement. And that's quite good. Let's again increase the speed of it to 1.2, maybe something like that. And then let's work a bit on the text. 
So I'm going to make a new group for the text to sit in. So drop that into there. And let's call this styled text. So to this group, I'm going to add filters, glow and neon. I'm going to turn down the inner and outer brightness. You've probably seen me do this sort of thing before. Increase that edge intensity probably. And just play with that outer glow, maybe just reduce it down a bit. Then I'm going to add stylize and add noise. And I'm going to increase the amount to one. Let's turn off auto animate and let it set it to monochrome. Then let's add color and threshold. And let's set that threshold up to around 0.85, something like that. And then I'm going to take this group and to it, I'm going to add a rectangle mask like this for the upper half. And then I'm going to just feather that till we get something like this. And I think that's quite nice that we're sort of seeing through the bottom of it like so. So a couple of other things we could do is we could select our text. We could come to behaviors and text animation, sequence text. Just going to come to something like 10 frames on the timeline. Hit O on the keyboard with that sequence text selected. For, so for the sequence text parameter, first of all, I'm going to select opacity, set that down to zero. So now it'll come on like that, but we don't want it to appear left to right. So we'll switch the direction to random. And then what we're also going to do is add format character offset. And let's have a character offset of say 12. It doesn't really matter what it is. And then we get that effect of it appearing. And if we want it to disappear as well, we could duplicate that sequence text. We could move it all the way to the end here like that. And all we need to do here is change its sequencing to two and then it's going to disappear as well. I think probably what I might do is make a group to just sit everything in, drop everything into that group and just let's add a little bit of color to this. Let's just go for, no, never really do this, but let's go for looks and cool and set that amount to about sort of 10 or something. Just gives it a little bit more character, I think. And there is one more thing that I've forgotten that I wanted to do, and that's to create some vertical sort of scratches. And I'm going to add a new group in here, just above my background. Into it, I'm going to add generators and cellular again. I'm also going to add to this stomalize and pixelate. I'm going to set the scale up pretty high to something like, I don't know, 100. And then what I want to do is I want to add a rectangle mask. So from the top of the screen downwards like that, a thin rectangle mask. Make sure it's tall enough. And uh, let's set the width to something like six, I think. So really fine like that. And let's just center up that mask. So then what I'm going to do is make an emitter out of this because I want an array of them. So I don't want to use the replicator because that creates an even array. But if we use the emitter, we can create an uneven array. So with the cellular selected, I'm going to come to object and make particles. I just quickly turn down the birth rate to zero, turn down the speed to zero, and then set the initial number to, I think, nine. And then if we select line for the arrangement, and then just drag this out to the side like that. Drag this out to the other side. We've got this nice random set of lines. And if we want to change the randomness, we can come down to the random seed and do it like that. So we get different random values. Just a very quick way of adding some visual interest in there. So I'm going to select this group and I think just set its blend mode to add like that probably a little bit better. Let's also come into the cellular and really crank up its speed. Let's go for two or something. And then I'm just going to select the group, behaviors, basic motion, fade in, fade out, so that they're fading in with our text reveal like that. So there you go, that's our effect. A lot of interesting techniques in there that I hope will give you some ideas. There is a lot of potential to using the relief filter to create this sort of pixel sorting effect, and I will be exploring more of it in further tutorials. So thanks for watching and see you again soon.